Skywatch Media News for April the 24th, 2021. Skywatchers across Spain were treated to a spectacular phenomenon this past week when a slow-moving fireball grazed the Earth's atmosphere and was visible in an evening spectacle across much of the country. The fireball was clearly visible for nearly one minute as it traveled at an impressive 61,000 kilometers per hour. According to the Smart Network, which monitors these type of events across southwest Europe, the space rock, which became a bright fireball above Spain, is a rare type of asteroid fragment known as a grazing fireball, which does not enter the Earth's atmosphere, but rather grazes the atmosphere before heading back out into space. The atmospheric phenomenon is possible because of the angle at which the space rock approaches the Earth. If the angle is small enough, the meteoroid can skip off of the atmosphere rather than plunging headfirst into the Earth. The rare event over the Spanish sky was observed by the Sierra Nevada Astronomic Observatory, visible some 85 kilometers above the province of Lugo in northwestern Spain, where it gradually lost altitude. From there, it traveled in a southeasterly direction towards Madrid, where it then began to gain altitude while heading slightly towards the southwest. After nearly one minute, the fireball's illumination began to diminish at about 87 kilometers above the Mediterranean off the coast of Almeria, where it then left the Earth's atmosphere to continue its orbit around the sun. Earth grazing fireballs are quite rare, but back in September of last year, a meteoroid ignored the solar system's one way signs, skipping through the Earth's atmosphere before bouncing back into space. The meteoroid, spotted by a camera from the Global Media Network, was visible in the skies above northern Germany and the Netherlands. Fireball activity is picking up steam becoming more prominent and more intense in the month of April. Let's take a quick look.
a newly discovered asteroid designated 2021 HN, flew past the Earth at a distance of 0.66 lunar distance on April the 19th. This is the 51st known asteroid to fly by Earth since the start of the year, and the 18th so far this month. This is a notable increase, as no other month on record has had this many known asteroid flybys of less than one lunar distance, even though our ability to detect them has improved over a number of years. 2021 HN was first observed at the Mount Lemmon Survey in Arizona on April the 17th, two days before its close approach. It has a diameter of between 32 and 86 feet, and it belongs to the Apollo group of asteroids. Some of you may recall the space rock that impacted the South African country of Botswana nearly three years ago. The small asteroid was first spotted by the Catalina Sky Survey on June the 2nd of 2018 as a point of light moving among the stars. This was just eight hours before it entered the Earth's atmosphere. On its journey to Earth, cosmic rays bombarded the asteroid and created radioactive isotopes. By analyzing those isotopes, the researchers determined that 2018 LA was a solid rock about one and a half meters in size, which reflected about 25% of sunlight. The small asteroid posed no danger to the Earth, but space rocks of this size help astronomers in their quest to detect approaching asteroids that are much larger. Ironically, this is only the second time that an asteroid has been spotted before it impacted the Earth over land. The first was asteroid 2008 TC3, which took place over Sudan in the year 2008. An international team of researchers traveled to Botswana in June of 2018, shortly after the uh, asteroid incident. After several days of searching, a team member from the Botswana International University of Science and Technology found the very first meteorite, only 30 meters from the camp. The rock was 18 grams, and it was 3 centimeters in size. In all, there were 23 meteorites recovered inside of the Central Kalashari Game Reserve in 2018. By combining the observations of the asteroid while in space with X-ray analysis taken from the meteorites, the astronomers determined that the space rock that impacted Botswana most likely came from Vesta, the second largest asteroid in our solar system, the target of NASA's Dawn mission. According to analytical findings, Twin impacts occurred on Vesta some billions of years ago, which created a group of larger, more dangerous asteroids. And the recovered meteorites from Botswana provide the clue as to when these impacts may have occurred on Vesta. In November of 2020, members of the expedition returned to the site of the asteroid impact and were fortunate to have found one more meteorite weighing 92 grams, which is now the largest fragment of asteroid 2018 LA recovered to date. Another small piece of the giant asteroid Vesta. We are witnessing strange phenomenon in our skies. Some folks consider them as omens or signs of biblical prophecy while others believe them to be natural occurrences. On April the 14th, an incredible phenomenon occurred at the top of a massive cloud formation located in Monsalay, Philippines. The appearance was breathtaking as it continued to grow over the top of a huge cumulonimbus cloud. Citizens of the Philippines reported this sky phenomenon as the crown of life. But even though its appearance was revered by those who saw it, experts in the field of atmospheric anomalies indicated that the strange appearance 
is referred to as a rare cloud iridescence, in which the sun's light is being refracted by water droplets and ice crystals within the cloud. But irrespective of the interpretation of the rare event, it made for an incredibly powerful display of multicolors in the heavens. And if seeing is believing, then the citizens of Monselet believed that this manifestation was a sign of the times. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. And always keep looking to the sky.